When you're a multiple Grammy-winning band who can sell out Wembley Stadium, what do you do for your next trick? Well, if you're the Foo Fighters, you go and make your seventh album, Wasting Light, on tape in Dave Grohl's garage. The video for their first single, Rope, may have been filmed there too. I believe that you don't really need a state-of-the-art recording studio to make a rock and roll record. A garage can sound huge, you know? And also, there's some pride in, like, being the band that can sell out Wembley Stadium and then make a record in a garage. Until the death of Nirvana's Kurt Cobain in 1994, Dave Grohl was behind the drums in the most influential band of a generation. His Foo Fighters were born from the ashes, but he's almost never mentioned Cobain publicly. That was until last month, when he received an award for Godlike Genius from NME magazine. This one's for Kurt. Thank you very much. You dedicated the award to, to Kurt Cobain. Why was it important for you to do that? Well, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Nirvana, I don't think. I'd be playing music, but I don't think I'd be talking to you on the morning show, you know? People wouldn't, probably wouldn't be as interested uh, if it weren't for Nirvana. And I totally um, understand that. I'm sure if Kurt were here, he would have had the award years ago. So that was why. Grohl also lays in and Nirvana goes to rest in an upcoming Waltz and All Foo Fighters documentary, Back and Forth. It also shows how precarious their success has been. Every band member has left at some point. There were times where someone would quit and Nate and I would look at each other and say, should we keep going? Amazing. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay, cool. And then we keep going. And then someone else would quit and think, should we keep going? And he'd say, yeah, let's keep going. And then Nate quit. <laughs> and I was like, let's not keep going. They have survived, often to be the only rock band in a chart of hip hop and dance music. But despite worldwide record sales of around 20 million, one thing still gives them pause for thought when they played Wembley. When you commit to something like that, it's like you're standing on the edge of a cliff and you have to jump, but you have to do it in four months. And you stand there on that edge for four months. You wake up every morning like, oh my God, I have to play Wembley. Oh no, this is, um, it was, we're terrified. But it was great. Well, you're all dads now, aren't you as well? Yeah. You're all, you're all fathers. Do you feel like grown ups now? You know, we all wake up at 5.30 in the morning and change diapers and make bottles, just like anybody else would, you know? When you're with your kids, driving them to school in a minivan, you're a dad. Yeah. But when the five of us are in a minivan on our way to an interview, okay. it's like a school bus yeah. full of men. Sure. The Foo Fighters, men slowly coming to terms for being adults in a rock band. Emma Jones, BBC News.